پاکستان ہے منتظر ایک کسی کا ایک ایسا کوئی جو بدل دے گا سب کچھ کوئی جو دے گا وہ سب کچھ جو صرف کتابوں میں میسر ہے بھوک کے وقت روٹی تن کے لیے کپڑا بیماری میں مسیحا ہر ایک کو یکساں معیار کی تعلیم کا حق اور پھر روزگار بھی دے گا کوئی جو ایوانوں کے بت توڑ کر ہمارے گھر بنائے گا اور وہ روشن بھی ہوں گے جو ہمارے سارے حقوق دلا دے گا اور سب کچھ اچھا ہو جائے گا مگر کیا کبھی یہ سوچا کہ وہ کوئی ہوگا کون کہاں سے آئے گا میرے لیے کوئی اور اس کے لیے کوئی اور نہ جانے کون ہے وہ کوئی تو پھر میں کون ہوں تم کون ہو ہم سب کون ہیں کیوں ہے ہمیں انتظار اس کون کوئی اور کسی کا ایسا ہی کیوں کہ کون ہے وہ ایسا کیوں نہیں کہ میں ہوں وہ I am the change I am the change I am the change ان بچوں سے نظریں ملائیں آپ چاہیں تو یہ بچے بھی سکول جا سکتے ہیں ان آنکھوں میں چمک ان چہروں پہ اعتماد اگر آپ چاہیں تو ان کا کل آج سے بہتر ہو سکتا ہے دا سٹیزنس فاؤنڈیشن اپنے بارہ سو دو سکول یونٹس میں ایک لاکھ پچہتر ہزار بچوں کا مستقبل سوارنے کے لیے کوشاں ہیں لاکھوں اور منتظر ہیں اپنی زکاة سے انہیں سکول پہنچائیے Zabist is one of Pakistan's leading universities, with four campuses across the country and a campus in Dubai. Zabist provides its students with education and research opportunities that are internationally competitive.
Founded in 1992, Zabist has proved itself time and again as a leading university, earning itself a prominent status among other universities serving the country. Zabist is quite cognizant with the current developments globally and therefore it's giving its students a holistic education package which helps them to integrate with this world. I believe that access to high quality education is a prerequisite for economic growth and social development of any country. And Zabist, as an institution of higher education, has been at the cutting edge of providing such education. Zabist has up to 6,000 students enrolled nationwide, with top-notch faculty providing the best training in various disciplines. We are a prominent university, boasting hundreds of notable professionals, scholars, researchers and mentors. Overall, uh, there is uh, academic uh, freedom and uh, the environment is uh, friendly. We focus a lot on activity-based learning to develop the right skill set in our graduates. We are ranked nationally among the country's top universities. We aim to serve our students with the best that the disciplines can offer. The business school today is one of uh, the top-notch uh, business school of Pakistan with most uh, modern and state-of-the-art facilities available for students. For developing economies, it is of utmost importance that we achieve excellence in technical and scientific education. We train highly skilled IT individuals in the field of mobile computing, networks and programming and other related fields. Graduates with mechatronics degree can take up careers in a wide spectrum of industries that include robotics, aerospace, automotive, manufacturing, chemical, health and medical and many more. We are one of the finest law schools in Pakistan that offers University of London International Program. In social sciences, we are mostly focusing on human behavior, social behavior, and societal behavior. The Sindh Abhyas Academy is dedicated to research on sin and education about sin. We believe that a well-rounded education should include an aspect of regional studies, and in this case, the region is sin. Biosciences is a multidisciplinary field of biological sciences with a huge market demand in the agriculture sector, in the healthcare sector, and in the information technology sector. Biosciences is the need of today for the Pakistani industry. Zabist has invested millions of rupees on introducing facilities that would anchor us as leaders of education and research. has helped me tremendously in my three years that I've spent here. I owe this institute a lot for my learning. One thing is guaranteed after you graduate from Zabis, that you will get a job because you're street smart. In the end, we just don't work hard, we work smart. Zabist has modern laboratories for stem cell research, biosciences and mechatronics, worldwide database access, media studios, and a media cage with state-of-the-art equipment. Good evening listeners, you are tuning into Zab FM 106.6. This is the evening drive time with your host of the Zahir.
for the booming media industry in Pakistan, we definitely need fresh blood. And we aim to provide creative, passionate, and qualified young individuals. Looking forward, we will continue to consolidate our successes, intensify research, enhance the quality of our education, and indigenize knowledge. Zabest is a learning ground where students are taught to achieve their goals and make a real difference. Jinnah Hospital is the largest hospital in the country. Jinnah Hospital receives about a million patients a year. And let me tell you very honestly that these patients have nowhere else to go. Because uh, it's like a, a, like a catch-22 situation. They don't have the money for health care, for medi medical help. And government hospitals technically do not have the budgets do not have the medication, do not have the modern day uh, machines to help these poor patients. So many a time what happens is that the patients are running from pillar to post to get uh, that medical help which they seek. It is a burden on them to barely make it to the hospital. You know transportation, coming in a rickshaw or a bus is itself a big burden on them and their. As you know that in our country if a family is accosted with some serious medical ailment, that, that family breaks up. The house gets sold, the jewelry gets sold, they are in debts and so on and so forth. So Patient Aid Foundation sees to this area that when a patient comes here, that patient should not go back untreated. Whether it is the medicines the patient requires, or it is the proper medical help from doctors. So we try to bridge that gap. And let me tell you that the technicians, the doctors, the paramedics, the surgeons are very good. They're very competent and the best in the city. The only thing is they are helpless at times. So Patient Aid Foundation makes that difference and provides that necessary uh, gap, fills in that gap. To run a facility, you require a room or a building, and then you require a staff, consumable medicine, and equipment. So PAF is assisting JPMC in all areas. There are hospitals which are having more 100, 100 and 150 beds, right? And uh, they are recognized all over the world. But unfortunately, we have built 630 beds at JPMC, but people still do not know much about Patients Aid Foundation. Then, Patients Aid Foundation has provided a diagnostic and therapeutic equipment to the hospital. Flagship project of the PAF was blood bank. And today, more than 250 to 300 pints of fully screened blood is provided free of cost every day at JPMC through its blood bank. Then, you can see the radiology department. It has grown in the last 13, 14 years from uh, say from ground zero to today it is one of the best equipment best equipped department not of the hospital not of the city but of the country and then we built a medical icu uh, that is having uh, 40 critical care beds and plus a 20 bed in general ward the other projects of PAF like uh, again through PAF that is one major project is the chest ward that has around 100, 100 beds and a dedicated OPD. The Patients Aid Foundation is a non-political uh, setup. It uh, is completely transparent. I would like to appeal to uh, all uh, 
Pakistanis and more particularly all Croatians to don't give whatever they can, whether they can spare their time, some financial donation, some expertise where we are lacking and we are lacking in a lot of things, we must admit. So in whatever form people can contribute, we would be welcoming such assistance. Pakistan, the land of 180 million cricket followers. Many cricket teams including New Zealand, Australia and India abandoned their cricket series in Pakistan after facing security threats. In addition to terrorism, the eviction of three Pakistani players in the recent cricket scandal has left the team in dire straits. The empty cricket grounds bear a testimony to the disappointment of cricket fans who have always valued this game as a part of their national identity. Maidan My name is Mrs. Saima Shadi. I am from the Dust Reasons Foundation in 2005. The community visit is also done by our school. We share the things that we have done in the community visit. We went to the community visit for a day. We saw some people's homes and also the scholarship policy. When I saw it, when I was coming back, there was a child named Madiha. और वो अपनी दादी नानी के साथ खात में कटोरा लेकर वो भीख मांग रही थी तो जब मैंने उन्हें देखा तो वो भी मुझे देख के मुस्कराई और बार बार मुझे पीछे मुड़ के देख रही थी तो मेरी नज़र भी उस मासूम सी बच्ची पे रही तो मुझसे रहा नहीं गया मैं पलट के उनके पास गई कि आप ये क्या कर रही हैं आप पढ़ना चाहती हैं तो बच्ची ने सिर्फ गर्दन ही हिलाया और अपनी नानी को देखना शुरू कर दिया उन्होंने तो जब मैंने उनकी नानी से बात की तो वो यानी ये कह रही थी कि हमने तो कभी भी नहीं पढ़ाया है किसी को तो ये पढ़ाई वगैरह हम कहाँ कर सकते हैं और ना ही हम अफोर्ड कर सकते हैं तो हमारे घर वाले नहीं मानेंगे तो मैं उसी दिन ही उनके घर गई तो वो बिल्कुल उन्होंने डिसएग्री कर दिया एक बार दोबारा मैं गई उनके घर तो अपने अकाउंट असिस्टेंट के साथ तो जब मैंने देखा तो वो फिर कुछ सुन रहे थे मेरी बात सेकेंड टाइम में तो जब उन्होंने सुनना शुरू किया तो मैंने कहा आप एक बार सिर्फ एक बार इस बच्ची को मेरे स्कूल भेज दें बाकी काम हमारे हैं आपसे हम कुछ भी नहीं लेंगे फ्री ऑफ कास्ट पढ़ाएंगे लेकिन बच्ची को आप यहाँ पे भेजें जब मैंने उस एक बच्ची को देखा तो मुझे खुद ही एक एहसास हो रहा था कि अगर हम इनको स्कूल की तरफ लेकर आ, आ जाएंगे तो मुझे लगेगा कि मैंने कुछ काम किया है और बाकी खुद से तो सब आ रहे हैं लेकिन इन बच्चों को इन कम्युनिटी के लोगों को लेकर आओ
मदिया की प्रोग्रेस अपनी क्लास में बेस्ट जा रही है मदिया अपना शौक से जो है होमवर्क लेती हैं हालांकि उनके घर में कोई भी पढ़ा लिखा नहीं है लेकिन वो अपने गेम या लाइब्रेरी के पीरियड में बैठ के उसको यहीं पे करके अपने टीचर को दिखा के जाती हैं और वो तमाम टीचर्स से बहुत इंस्पायर हैं और यही सोचती है कि मैं भी बड़े होकर आपकी तरह टीचर ही बनूँगी और टीचर्स के साथ यानी उस वो सबके साथ अटैच है रोज़ाना आती है आगे आगे होती हैं पोएम्स वगैरह में भी पढ़ाई में भी और यही चाहती हैं कि मेरी जो दूसरी कज़न्स भी हैं वो भी सब आ जाएं ताकि हम सब जो है ना पढ़ें और दोबारा ये चीज़ ना करें जो इनके घर वाले करते हैं तनहाई के सफर में चलना सबर से कोई ना नजर में हाँ जब खाब में छोड़ जाए सोचो कौन भाना पाए दिन वो याद आए ना खता हो गई सजा हो गई पुराने दिन याद आए ना दुनिया के इस शोर में सीखा है मर के होती जिंदगी क्या मैं डूब रहा डूब रहा बचाना मुझे बचाना मैं डूब रहा डूब रहा बचाना मुझे बचाना जगमगाती हुई रात ये लपे है शिकायते कोई नहीं मुझको सुन रहा वो ढलता दिन मजबूर है मंजिल जरा दूर है बुझ रहा उम्मीदों का चिरा खता हो गई सजा हो गई पुराने दिन याद आए ना के इस शोर में सीखा है मर के होती जिंदगी क्या मैं डूब रहा डूब रहा बचाना मुझे बचाना मैं डूब रहा डूब रहा बचाना मुझे बचाना